friends, welcome back to my channel. So I wanted to do um, a little mini tutorial with you and do my first project share. I have this super sweet pineapple loaf uh, cutting board and I made this to go on uh, my tiered tray in my kitchen because I thought this is gonna be so cute uh, after the 4th of July to do kind of like a little tropical theme in my kitchen and I'm super excited. So um, thanks for joining me for this video. My name is Britton and I am an Endorna ambassador and I've been selected to share with you my makes and my projects using the lovely Diana Markham's recipe stamps um, and they are so gorgeous and I'm just so humbled and honored to be able to do this. And I wanna show you some out of the box thinking and some really cool things that you can do with stamps. So um, to kind of bring you up to speed where we're at with this, these uh, cute little cutting boards, they come in the rectangle size, they also come in a round size. And when I saw these, I thought, oh my gosh, the ideas and projects in my brain went ding, 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 ding. So I picked up quite a few of those. And it is perfect to do this recipe stamp on, right? I think it's so fun. So um, I'm going to show you how I got to this step. And then I'm going to do a mini process. I'm going to put another one of those hibiscus flowers down here um, to kind of offset the one up here. So what you're gonna need is you're gonna need a stamping press. Now this is my smaller one, I do have a larger one as well. But what a stamping press does is it allows you to place a stamp in the same spot, almost identically perfect every time. In fact, not almost, it is identically perfect every time if you line stuff up right. Instead of, you know, maybe you don't get a good transfer with your ink and then you're like, oh, I'm going to have to try to guess to redo it in order to save your project. And the next thing you know, it's looking a little 3D. <laughs> so you're going to want to have a precision stamping press. It, it's very helpful, especially if you're like me and maybe you don't have a nice even press or sometimes things just don't transfer the way you want to and you need to give it a couple of goes. So the first thing I did was I used my stamping press and I used the pineapple recipe stamp and your stamps will cling right to your press. So you don't need a block or anything. And I went through and I did one full pineapple and then I took it off. And then the next thing I did was I got some Waverly Snow White chalk paint. This is also available for purchase at Walmart. And I went through and I did a, a nice coat over the stamp, but I did leave the outline in there. So I kind of knew where to put my base paint. Then I went over that with my watercolor pencils. So these watercolor pencils are, um, you can get these at Adornit. And there's the website right there. And I'll put links on everything in my description box below as well. Um, and I used my watercolor brushes on my paint. And then I used the medium water brush from Adorna as well to create that painted look on there. And then um, once you've let your, your chalk paint dry, that, then you can go ahead and do your, um, your color pencils and your watercolor paint. And then you let that dry. Then you're gonna go back over it one more time, I actually did three times, with your stamp so that you get your recipe on there and all of the outlining. And I got a little outside of the lines here, but I don't care, I think it's still super cute. Just make sure that everything is painted how you want it to be before you do your final stamping. And then once you're all done with all of your stamping and everything's dried, you might just want to give it a matte uh, clear coat spray paint um, just to seal it and so it'll last forever. So cute for yourself, makes a fantastic ornament for like a Christmas tree. Um, and then also too, like super cute for a tiered tray or a gift for a friend. Maybe, you know, maybe you want to give this along with a loaf of uh, pineapple loaf to a bestie. So what we're going to do is we're going to put another little flower right here, okay? And so what I want to do is put my flower where I want it to go. And I don't want to cover up any of the recipe, so I'm just going to put this guy right here. And then I'm going to go ahead and take my topper and I'm going to push this down. 
and it's going to pick up my stamp. You gotta make sure there's nothing in the way and I'm gonna pick up my stamp, okay? So now my stamp is adhered to my stamping press and I'm gonna go over my stamp with some ink and I'm going to stamp this right onto my cutting board. And that is going to give me my outline for my floor. So here's a little heat gun. So I have that there just so that we can kind of speed up the process. And I have a fine tip paintbrush. And I'm just going to go over this right here. I'm going to take it all the way to the edge. And if I go a little over that, that's fine too. And then I go back and just kind of smooth it out. So then we're going to dry this off. And then I'm going to go ahead and select the colors that I want for my flower. These are the three colors I'm going to use. They're not labeled here. So, but we have kind of an orange, red, kind of a magenta, and then a yellow. And I'm just going to go around the outside. with my darker color and then I'm going to come in with this orange color and then I'm going to go right in the center with my yellow. Now I always have a baby wipe here just to make sure that I'm keeping my tip clean and then I just start right at the edge adding that water and I'm keeping it right in the line. So then that's going to be all kind of bubbly there because I've got some water on it. So we'll just let that dry for a minute. And then very carefully come right on in with my heat gun over that. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to re-ink my stamp. And I'm going to line up my stamp press, press down, lift up, and the outline of my stamp is in there. So super cute. Um, just takes a little bit of time. Um, really make sure that you have a stamp press because that's how you will have success in making sure that you get all of the indentations on the stamp um, but just something different than a card I'm, I'm going to try so hard to show you all different kinds of projects um, that anybody can do um, I do make cards I do make tags um, I love 3d paper projects but I just I saw these little cutting boards and I thought that is absolutely perfect for the recipe stamps so here you go. So here's a cute little pineapple loaf um, cutting board project for you and uh, makes a great gift or um, like I said, part of your own decor for your own tiered tray. I hope you like this and um, thank you again so much for watching my channel. Again, you can purchase all of these beautiful stamps from the Tutti Fruity collection on the Adornit website. You can also purchase all of the items that I used um, except for my stamp press. I got that at Walmart, but everything else you can get uh, at Adornit. And then the cute little cutting boards came from Hobby Lobby. So, all right. Well, you guys have a wonderful rest of your day and I can't wait to share more projects with you. See you later. Bye-bye. Yeah.